Jean Hognall Fragonal, The Fountain of Love by Curling Ellis. Today we are heading to J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles to explore one out of the two versions of The Fountain of Love. The Fountain of Love was created in France by Jean Hognall Fragonal in 1785. But he was already known for his outstanding artwork of the Rococo period, such as The Swing and the Love Letters in the series The Progress of Love. The two versions of The Fountain of Love are strikingly different in their mood and style, with the version in the Getty Museum a more Rococo style, and the other at the Wallace Collection in London is a more non-classical style. This painting has a riveting sense of drama, heightened contrast of light and shadow, and a restricted palette suggestive of nocturnal mystery with characteristics that indicate a new romantic sensuality. The Fountain of Love was among his most celebrated paintings and was reproduced in the form of engravings by Fred Miller. This painting, 64 by 51 centimeters in size, was painted using oil and canvas. He used dreamlike setting of dark and monochrome coloring, which prefigures the melancholy storm of full-blown romanticism. The melting use of strong contrast between light and dark, coupled with classical figures, contrast his early cheerful informalities and anticipate the classicism which came to dominate French painting in the 1790s. As we can see in the painting, it shows a scene of a forest representing the Garden of Love where a young man and woman rushes towards the edge of the fountain basin and Cupid frolic in the fountain water, filling the air with the spray of the water. As you can see, one of the Cupid offers a cup of the magical liquid to the young eager lovers to drink so they can fall in love. They both are aflamed, eyes shining while they direct their thoughts and their desires of their lips towards the enchanted cup. The story of the Garden of Love is a story of nature progress of love that has the origin in the poetry of classical antiquity and the Middle Age, which is the centers of Fragonard's painting. It was his response to the neoclassical movement in an extremely inventive manner by adding soft, steamy atmosphere to his cameo-like figures. And although the greater part of his active life was passed during the neoclassical period, he continued to paint in a Rocoro idiom until shortly before the French Revolution. His art was too closely associated with pre-revolutionary period to make him acceptable during the revolution, which deprived him of private patrons. 